Okay, so now we're going to look at data privacy, data privacy and protection. So data privacy, it's not exactly the same thing as data protection, acknowledges that private individuals have rights over their data. These rights include, so how information is collected. So just think, you, you are, you know, a person in an organization, or you're maybe a client, or you're a supplier, or you are, you know, anyone in the public. If there is any reason why an organization would get information about you specifically, so something that would personally identify you, so, you know, personal identifying information, PII, are things that would make it obvious that it is you the target of this information. And this can be more vast than you can believe, such as, you know, a, a phone number. You know, just a number can identify you as an individual. A social security number can identify you as an individual. But courts have also judged that say, you know, in uh, 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 certain numbers linked to your internet identification, since they identify you personally, and you know someone kind of working through certain ways would be able to figure out you know who this belongs to. Since this can personally identify you, this is private information. Any picture of you, of course, is you know very very private. Even part of your body. It can include, say, a tattoo. It can be anything that would identify you as a certain person. So we looked at how information is collected, now how it's handled. So you have rights as you know, a, a citizen of a country where you know, information um, you know, does have certain rights to it, uh, as well as you know, individuals in a corporation that have a uh, you know privacy policy you have certain rights over your data and so the way it's handled you are supposed to be at least informed of the way that your data will be handled now especially in Europe under GDPR you understand that employees you know do not you know, do not have power over their organizations to tell their organization, no, you cannot exactly handle it in this way. So there's an implicit understanding that there should be knowledge to an employee about how their data is handled. You know, this, this, this knowledge, this is acknowledgement should be in a, in a written off and signed form, but indeed, you know, employees do not necessarily have power or, over their organization. So simply, you know, say maltreating or, you know, mishandling uh, private employee or private customer or private individual information, even if they have, you know, signed waivers, if they have, uh, you know, signed acknowledgements, is, is not acceptable, uh, especially in, in Europe under GDPR, but under many legislations as well to actually treat the information even if there has been acknowledgement because of this you know, different power dynamic, especially between employers and employees. About the use of information and over control who has access to the information. So this, this is particular because, first of all, for the use, any data collected has to be for a very specific use and should not be for just any general use. Say an employer or a company collecting information for their clients would not be able to claim one use and then, you know, this is about the access to information and then give it to someone else. So the use and the access to the information have to be extremely controlled and have to be you know fully acknowledged and permitted by the person since you know it's we have a personal right over our information 
having access to the information. So this refers to so the data subject. The data subject is the one that you know the, the information refers to. So it is my phone number. I have the right to look at that information and to correct it if needed. So you know I have noticed that the phone number collected by my employer might not be correct. I will first you know, ask to have that information and then be able to correct it. I, I could go to my employer, you know, living in Europe under GDPR, I can go to my employer and say, I would like to know all the information you have collected about me. Any client, in fact, is allowed to do the same thing. Go to a company and say, I would like to have the information you have collected about me. And they would be allowed to change it, amend it, and in any case, know about it, and finally, to be able to delete that information. So, you know, for instance, you know, I got a little subscription service uh, uh, for, for my kids, uh, and, you know, of course, I gave, you know, certain uh, private information, uh, such as the name of my kids, and I then wanted to terminate the service, and finally, you know, I said, you know, please wipe my data at the end, since, you know, finally I don't want information about my kids in, in the hand of uh, a private company. Maybe they'll treat it correctly, but they might also lose this information to, you know, certain cyber criminals. Well, that's what we're going to look at very shortly. So, you know, deleting the information is my right. I asked this company to wipe the information on, about me and my kids, and I recommend that you do that in the future. Of course, you could do the same thing for, you know, in many different cases, potentially after you have been employed in a company and you've left for a certain amount of time. Huh?